Good evening and welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Nevis Newscast for August 17th, 2010. I am Hazel Francis. In the top stories locally, fisheries being taken to a new level on Nevis and the groundbreaking of the Charleston Harbour Shopping Village project set for mid-January. The details are straight ahead. The Nevis Reformation Party-led Nevis Island Administration is committed to taking fisheries industry to a higher level and a Japanese delegation is on island to assess the feasibility of the fisheries complex that would be located at Gallows Bay. More in this report from Huey Sargent. Thanks, Hazel. A four-person team from the Japanese International Cooperation Agency visited with Permanent Secretary of Agriculture this morning, Dr. Kelvin Daly, regarding the proposed fisheries center on Gallows Bay. I'm Sugiyama. I'm the chief of the mission uh, from the uh, Japan International Cooperation Agency. Uh, we are, as as I, uh, Dr. Dairi said, we are here for the preparatory survey uh, for the proposed project for the development of the new fisheries center. And uh, we are now the working with the fishers and the other uh, stakeholders to hear from their expectation for the project and do some uh, uh, baseline surveys. And these are the uh, mission members, uh, Mr. Sakaki from the JICA headquarters, and uh, Mr. Takemoto, he is the uh, chief consultant uh, uh, for this project. And he, uh, uh, Mr. Tori, uh, he is in charge of uh, socio-economic surveys uh, for the project as a baseline. Dr. Daly noted that there was a meeting last evening for fishers to discuss the many features of the proposed fisheries center. He outlined some of the features of the facility that were up for discussion. It's a multifaceted program. It has in it several components that include a, uh, a new jetty, it has fish processing facilities in it, it has value-added processing involved, it has um, supplies of ice and fishing gear for the fishers, it has a fuel depot which will be subsidized, uh, a whole plethora of things that are included to move fisheries to a new level in the next couple of years. We had fishers from all over Nevis last night, it's the biggest turnout we've had in a long time. And so people are really interested in, in being a part of the planning of this, of, this, of this complex. Dr. Daly gave a further insight into the genesis of the proposed project, as well as future benefits. The project is a long overdue project. It was initially formulated in 2004 under the previous administration. It has taken this long to come to this level. When people see the beauty of it, and the logic of it, and the convenience of it, and the fact that in moving the sector forward in a, in, a, in a dramatic way, I think the persons will be more cognizant that you're going to really change the dynamic of fishing on Nevis for a long time to come. This project could see the Japanese government pumping up to $27 million into the project, a project which will complement the overall development of the Charleston waterfront. I'm Huey Sargent reporting for the Nevis Newscast. Thanks, Huey. Developers for the Charleston Harbor Shopping Village project, Namda Brothers Realty, have confirmed their commitment to redevelop Charleston waterfront. According to a press release from the Premier's office, the Premier was in receipt of a letter from the St. Kitts-based developers, and the groundbreaking for the project is earmarked for Tuesday, January 18, 2011. The release quoted Premier Parry as saying it was wonderful news and he was pleased that the Namda Brothers Realty was committed to the redevelopment of downtown Charlestown. He also said that Mr. Aaron Karamzadeh, Managing Director of Namda Brothers Realty, said they were hopeful that the project would become the touristic focal point of Nevis for the benefit of both locals and visitors. Based on the agreement that the Nevis Island Administration signed in October 2009, the lease will, will be for 25 years and the development of the Charleston waterfront will be constructed by local contractors. The Premier noted that local workers will be employed to execute the bulk of the work on this major project. The Harbour Village will encompass an area south of the Charleston Main Pier consisting of the old customs building, the waterfront and the surrounding Charleston market. Entertainment and economic value are some of the benefits accruing from the drag racing strip 
in the Paris of St. James. This was stated in an interview recently with Sports Minister the Honorable Hensley Daniel. Minister Daniel explained the further development of the drag strip. We can look forward to, well, to the lengthening of the strip. We can look forward to the development of proper um, stands to, hold, to seat people. We can look forward to the permanent um, food booths okay. so that, that those things don't, don't have, have to be made with tents. And <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those are, we, 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 we definitely have to look forward to the, to the landscaping of the area. And the, gra and the greeting, I would like to say, of, of the area. We certainly have to look at, at the pit. Okay. And, um, uh, yeah, and, yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. and um and Yeah, an expansion of that, probably. Um, all of those are, are possibilities. Mr. Daniel disclosed that the NIA had contracted the firm of Podgy Productions of Trinidad to enhance the project. We invite suggestions, comments, input from a wide range of people. And we want to remind people that Pudgy Productions does not have all the answers. The Nevis Drag Racing Association doesn't have all the answers. The Drag Racing Unit doesn't have all the answers. It's a collaboration of Exactly, ideas. but collectively, mm -hmm. I want us as local people to work together on this and getting this done. And so, I know the skill set in both in both units, and so we have sought to enhance the mm -hmm. skill set so that we could make better use of the facility. The next drag racing event is scheduled for the anniversary date of September 19th, and Minister Daniel said Nivisions can look forward to a much bigger event. I believe as you go forward, you will see the input, and you will see the hand of Pudgy Productions in these events. We have been paying some close attention to safety issues, and so I think that we are going to have a very good meet based on what I have been advised by the association and the unit. And I simply want the public to understand that we are operating in their best interest and that we are doing the things that matter most to the development of the people of the country. That's Minister of Youth and Sports, the Honorable Hensley Daniel.